What's up everyone, my name is Wi-Fi, and welcome to a vlog thing on Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag Freedom Cry. Now, if you guys don't know what that game is, then I'm going to tell you for informational purposes. Now, um, my camera right here is on my uh, TV screen thing, because I don't have a screen recorder, because I'm bad at YouTube, good. And, um, yeah. If you guys don't know what Assassin's Creed Black Flag is, it's Assassin's Creed 4. It's not actually the fourth game in the Assassin's Creed series, though. But it's called Assassin's Creed 4, and there's a DLC for it called Freedom Cry. So, mm-hmm, that's, that's the thing we're talking about. In the DLC, you play as one of the characters from the main story. His name is Adewale Wale Wale Wale. His name is Adewale. And, um, he is a slave that has like broken out or something i don't know i don't pay attention to stories and now you go around the caribbean well a part of the caribbean freeing other slaves because you're just a nice guy and uh yeah that's basically the frank like the, the story thing in the game so yeah as you see here it says i've freed uh 8785 slaves I've recruited 1,936 Maroons, which are basically slaves that'll fight for the resistance, this is, which is right there. And over here, I have 20 out of 20 upgrades. Uh, this is actually a lot of slaves and Maroons. Usually people, they just play through the main story and then stop. So they usually have like 500 right there, like 20 right there, something like that, but no. Uh, since I accidentally deleted my save on the main game in this game, I, uh, I, j I just played this DLC thing now, which is fun, because now, because, <clears throat> because instead of playing with swords as your main weapon, you get machetes, like the Mayan machete, which I'm going to show you, like, right now. That's the Mayan machete. It has fully maxed out settings. Uh, it's actually really, like, I don't really see a difference in like that machete with uh why i don't see a difference between this uh mayan machete and like the steel forge machete the crude iron machete and the rusty machete they all seem the same to me but apparently that's faster it has like better combo things and it does more damage um and it's literally just in the ground somewhere and it's the best machete in the game there are only four though so yeah in the main game, you have pistols, but in this, like, you know, DLC, you get something called a blunderbuss, which is basically just an old-timey shotgun thing. I have one called the Dragon. You get it from getting 100% completion on the main story in this DLC, which is actually really easy because there's, like, 11 missions or something like that. It has um, max damage, max speed, but the range is no... And there are four blunderbusses. Sorry that the camera's really shaky. My arm is starting to hurt from holding this up. There's the Dragon, Portable Cannon, Precision Shooter, and Smoothboard Gun. Um, mm -hmm. Right here we have pouches. They just allow you to carry more ammo for stuff. I don't know, kind of cool, but extremely boring. Up there we have your resources that you found while destroying ships. I have maxed out, uh, I think it's wood. I think it's wood. Uh, almost maxed out metal. This is the one all the way on the right. There's 1.3 million reals, which is a lot because money and things. I haven't actually showed you Adewale, but that's him. You can't really see him too well, but you know, he's an assassin. He's just like Edward from the main game. Let's get a really cinematic shot here, okay? There we go. Some tells me I'm doing this right. And that's your ship right there. It's called the Experto Crede. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but that's that's it, yeah, and we're gonna go through some of the upgrades and the appearance here, so let me just pause the video, because I don't know how to do things with one hand. Alright, so here we have the standard stuff for, like, all the upgrades on your ship and stuff. I have everything maxed out. Uh, ironclad ram. You actually can't upgrade the ram in this DLC. You literally just get an iron ram on the front of your ship. It's kind of cool. However, the appearance part is where it gets cool. This is the Ares figurehead put on like the front of your ship and stuff this is the proud lion figurehead the jack dawes figurehead which is a uh, story main game ship thing the bronze wheel which is bad the wheel of bindings which is cool the white sails and the liberty sails but um mm-hmm yeah all right now there's not really much else to talk about i'm just on the road to uh 10,000 slaves I've been actually trying to do that for a month or two now, and I just wanted to sit down today and just play that, grind out, see how far I can make it, and probably do the exact same thing tomorrow. Uh, 
But yeah, there's not much else to say about this game, so... Mm -hmm. I apologize that I could not show any gameplay because I don't have a screen recorder because, as I said, I am bad at YouTube, but... Yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog information thing about Freedom Cry. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. If you didn't, make sure to leave a dislike. I want your feedback. My name is Whitefire, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.